everybody, my name is Beth, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about my Nintendo Switch collection as of December 2019. I am talking about video games, not the actual console itself. I can only afford one and I have the original Switch from when it first launched. Just a quick disclaimer, if you don't want to hear it and if you have seen this type of disclaimer before, please skip ahead to this timeline if you don't want to hear the little talk I have before I go into my collection. First of all i am a 26 year old woman with a full-time job and this is how i spend my disposable income yes i do get donations from time to time at a bare minimum from my streams and from the revenue i garnered from youtube also very little or sometimes nothing at all and sometimes i do get video game codes from companies also incredibly rare but it does not change my judgment towards a video game. They're purely my own opinion and I've acquired most of them myself. I pay for them because people tend to be a little bit uh, apprehensive at times when I discuss about certain games and I don't like a negative or positive feedback about certain things. These are purely my own judgment. And lastly, I do discuss about games that are meant for more mature audience, teens and above. So if you are a child, um, I will be discussing about games such as Diablo that is rated M for 17 plus. With the compliance of the COPPA rule, anyone below the ages of 13 and under should not be watching this video because I will be discussing about games that are intended for more mature audiences. So that's that. I will now begin my collection video as of 2019. But since I already brought this up, this is actually a gift from a fellow YouTuber friend and his name is Josh from Your Player 2. I spotted this on Corey on Instagram. He was talking about how this game was only going for $17 during Black Friday of 2017 or 2018. I don't remember. Since I saw that post, it was $17. I told Josh to get this game for me because it was only available in America. So this game was 17 US dollars. I have played Diablo before. I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest Diablo fan. I don't generally play games like this. If you haven't been on my channel before, I play games like Stardew Valley and an occasional Monster Hunter World. So this is like really beyond my comfort zone. But so far, I have not progressed too much into it. I have played Diablo on PC before. And it is a little bit weird to me using the controller for the Switch versions. And I haven't played with anybody so far. I progressed further on the PC. I already know what I signed up for when I got this. I'm really grateful for Josh for exporting this to me for such a relatively cheap price. Watch my previous um, collection videos. I do have some games missing because some I couldn't find. I don't know where I saw it. And some I have given away. This is all I can find so far on my shelf. So the next game would be Fire Emblem Warriors. I got this when the Switch was relatively new, like ages ago. Like when it first came out, I got the game. I haven't finished it. I barely played it. I think I only played a couple of hours of it if I'm being completely honest. I think I mentioned this in my previous video, my previous collection video last year. I am not the biggest fan of hack and slash so this isn't really my cup of tea I just thought that maybe if it's fire emblems I might like it better but I do enjoy games like Dragon Quest but I don't like Dragon Quest heroes I just don't like the genre of hack and slash I just couldn't get into the game and I felt kind of annoyed because I did pay full price for this game so I'm gonna force myself to play it anyway in the future. Next is Xenoblades Chronicles 2. I played the first game and I loved it. The second game is decent. I spent quite a bit of hours into it. I think it's like my third or fourth most spent hours on a video game console on the Switch. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling to speak. I thought the graphics were great. There's a lot of pros in this game. I, for the most part, did enjoy it. I do have like slight negativities towards certain parts of it. like minuscule issues I have with the game. Peggy 12 is 12 and above, although some scenes I don't really know if it's really intended for anybody under 15, but I don't know what kids can handle these days, but certain parts I'm like iffy about, but for the most part I did really like this game. If you want a JRPG and if you want to spend like hours of your time invested into something, this is the game for you. I haven't bought Torna yet. 
I'm thinking about it but I've got like a huge backlog and I really don't need any new games. I'm just trying not to spend as much money but it doesn't happen. 2020, maybe it'll happen. Anyway, next is Chocobo um, Mystery Dungeon. I actually have a physical copy because it got released out in Asia if I think. I think this was a rare buy. I did have to ask my mom who was on a trip to Hong Kong. She got it for me and along the way she also got this for free. It's just like a little case that you can bring on your Switch even though I have like PS Vita games in it. Don't judge me. Anyway, so I got this incredibly, incredibly hard. I don't know if it's my fault. I'm playing on normal mode and I'm still struggling. I'm currently stuck. Maybe the second or third area dungeon. I'm having a hard time with this game. It's nice and all, but it's quite difficult. I'm not good at dungeon crawling labyrinth kind of games to begin with. Maybe it's my fault, but I am struggling to play Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. I don't know, you guys suffer the same thing. And I kind of want to finish it because, you know, I, I did spend money on these things. Next is Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> this is so bad because some people might come for me. For years I've been telling people that I will go ahead and finish the game, but I haven't. I am currently at the final stage, the moon, and I just don't have the heart or the decency to go and complete it, but this is a gift from Chizu or Chizukun on YouTube. It's a Splatoon player, Splatoon 2 player. She streams other stuff like title Goose games and occasional Stardew Valley and Minecraft. So if you're interested in those games, go check it out. She gave it to me. She had a spare copy. I won't say how. You have to find it through her. She's my supplier of some sort from the UK. But anyway, so she got an extra copy and she sent this to me for free as a gift for internal tea. She does not owe me anything since I got this for free. I was still in my final years of university and I had to basically cut a bunch of my shifts and I could only work once a week and I was incredibly broke at that point when this game came out and I couldn't afford it. And the thought that she sent it to me and I could just play it during the launch period was like, you know, the biggest like heartwarming experience. Like I didn't really mention that in my last collection videos because I I mean I am ashamed of myself, but that's the reality when you're like a poor university student because you're forced to like time manage and you just don't you're not here for it. Anyway, that's a different tape. The next game is Portal Knights. This is like I don't know why it's highly rated on Steam. It has a really good rating on Steam. I know the second game just came out, like an expansion for this just came out. I got this for free on the PSN Plus as well. I won this in a giveaway. What is your channel to do with kids? I'm currently running on two hours of sleep, so I really can't remember on top of my head. I'm so sorry. I'll put it here once I remember, but I won this in a giveaway alongside with another game that I'll show later on but I don't have good experience. I don't know if it's because of the internet connections I have with this game or the game itself is the issue. In theory, I would like Portal Knights. Seems like the type of game that I will play. It does remind me of Minecraft in a sense, different skin kind of Minecraft. Don't come for me, please. I tried streaming this. It didn't work. It just brought terrible memories in general. Don't know if it's just my internet connection that makes me have an issue with this, but I will try to give it a go because I believe, I will try to believe, I just, <sighs> sometimes I don't know if I'm giving a game a fair shot because of my shoddy internet connection or it's just like my lack of skills. This is pure pure Tetris. I know there was like a limited edition, I saw it on Frosty RMB 77 channel when he did the collection video and I saw the keychain but I don't think we ever had it here at least. I bought this like during launch date when it was like one of the two or three games like Zelda, Pure Pure, Bomberman was like one of those games that you could pick up when the Switch first came out. That's when I got it like ages ago. And I think I finally finished the main storyline. There is a storyline in this game, surprisingly. I first got into this game when it was in the DS era. That was my first pure pure Tetris experience. I know this also shows up in Sonic as well. The mini game you can find randomly in Sega games. If you don't like the traditional sense of Tetris, this is more cutesy, more fun in my personal opinion. I prefer pure pure over like the traditional Tetris. 
that's also a very unpopular opinion that people might come for me but that's the tea one of my more latest purchases of this year was the super mario maker 2 i have the first game hold up i also have it on the wii u so i have previous experience with it but the thing about it having on the wii u you don't really get a chance to really play with your friends only other people who have bought the game but who really went out of their way to buy a wii u i think most people these days have a nintendo switch so it's really fun i do have some courses please try it out for once in my life i actually have the game slotted into the box it's a rare occurrence i like this game unfortunately for me the reason why i haven't spent too much time in this is because when this came out dragon quest 2 builders also came out um parallel to this like a few days apart i think when i got them that's why i had myself preoccupied and i have a lot of friends who are super trolly so their levels are incredibly <laughs> insane and i'm here like all being nice and calm about it but they just try to speed run mine and next is my latest purchase which is like pokemon shield very controversial and oh yeah i do have taiko in the pokemon shield game for some odd reason i cannot find my Ta taiko no tatsuji in the box but i do have it and it's a physical i just don't know where the box went this is like such an unorganized mess but i tried my best to make it work but shield i made a video about it you can go check it out previously if you want a more lengthier discussion on that or if you want a discussion down below in the comments feel free i will read it feel free to disagree with me but i enjoyed the game the storyline wasn't that great but i enjoyed the game another one of those classic game titles that came along with the switch when it first launched was bomberman i think this was a gift as well from a guy that i no longer talk to <laughs> i gave him my one to switch i also bought that during like launch time certain games just brings back like a very bittersweet memory and that just so happened to be it pokemon let's go eevee another controversial title thing from last year i can't believe this game was from last year it feels like it's from years ago at this point but it tried to be something different with something old it wasn't as bad as people thought it was and i thought it was okay i enjoy it maybe i'm easy to please i don't know. is there problems with the game of course there is not every single game is a 10 out of 10 for me so if you're gonna nitpick on something, of course there's something negative to talk about. You are entitled to disagree with me and feel free to and enlighten me, so to speak. But please just keep it civil. I'm just saying from my personal perspective, I did enjoy it. This is like one of the games I also got from the giveaway from the channel earlier. I'm I'm so sorry for like not remembering on top of my head. And here's a, here's a recurring theme with me. I have Terraria, the PS Vita version, in inside the Gun Revolt Striker Pack. If I'm being completely honest, I was attracted by the graphics and that's why I picked this particular game because I think in the giveaway he was doing like um, Overcooked. And the games that he was showing already had it on like a different platform and this was the only other one that I didn't have alongside with like Portal Knights. And that is why I picked this. But if I'm being completely honest, it's not really my cup of tea. And I don't know. I really need to give it another go. Because I felt like it was because of my own lack of skills that made Gun Bolt's Striker Pack not enjoyable for me. It's a platformer, it's a shooter, if I remember from memory. And those are two things I don't really play with, if I'm being completely honest. And next is like one of the most best purchases and games of 2019 for me i don't know if i want to do like games i've completed in 2019 again because at the rate i'm going with filming these years it's not going well got this as a donation from your player too and it was enough for me to get this game and the season pass it was considered a birthday present so i am forever grateful i spent a lot of time in this game i loved it everybody peer pressured me into getting it I've currently borrowed the PS4 version of Robo and I haven't finished it yet because it's in Japanese and I'm struggling but I did play the full storyline in this one. Highly recommended. If you like Minecraft, you like building stuff and you like a rich storyline that will make you cry, pick this up. This is definitely my cup of tea and you will spend hours in this game. 
I have a lot of friends, a lot of mutuals, YouTubers, friends in real life, whatever you identify as or whatever you choose to call yourself, they all love this game. So do I. Highly recommend. Another game that I really, well, for the most part I did enjoy. I do have some stuff I nitpicked about this, which is Fire Emblem Free Houses. I know Daniel hasn't finished this game, so I won't spoil it. No spoilers. This is the order I went with Eagle, and then I went with Lion, and then I went with DLS. That way. And I will recommend people play it that way. You get the least amount of spoilers if you play it through that way. Because in D, you learn the most. It's like more shocking if you play him last. I know most of my friends play D first because. <laughs> well, like thirsty. <laughs> Play it that way if you choose to pick out Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's also rightfully in its like position. I've completed this game. I haven't played the super hard mode just like on normal. For the most part, I did enjoy Three Houses, so give it a shot. I don't know if it's ever gonna go on sale. I feel like games like Mario, Fire Emblem, Pokemon don't really go on sale. And Splatoon is also one of those games that doesn't go on sale. Here's my pet peeve with myself. You see, sometimes I don't have the games in the boxes and I can't find them. This is the issue I have with Splatoon. I did spend like a good quality time with Splatoon 2 and I tried to play with my friend a couple of months ago and I couldn't find it because I don't know where I slotted it. I also can't find my physical copy of Octopath Traveler which is annoying because I want to finish the side quest but I don't know. It's in one of the storage boxes because I did have to like move and now I can't find certain things. I know it's somewhere in this room, but I can't find it. And this is another reason why I pushed this collection video to be later than usual, is because I can't find most of my stuff and this is the best that I can do. And it just feels so bad. But anyway, I'm a mess. Welcome to my channel. If you choose to subscribe after all of this, then thank you. But this is the sort of thing that you should expect from me. <laughs> the Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is like my very first Nintendo Switch game. I went and watched my unboxing video from years ago, like three years at this point I think. If the Switch is three years old, right? So I went and watched my unboxing of this and it was god awful. I still haven't finished this game so let's brush <laughs> that and pretend I didn't say it. Okay, I'm up to like Ganon. I just don't want to beat it for some reason. This is a problem with me. I'll go to the final stages of a game, I'm about to beat it, and then I quit. I don't know why I do that, but that's a habit I have. Daniel also does it. He understands where I'm coming from. Do you guys do that? Or are you like really annoyed with me? Because I'm kind of annoyed with myself. If you even made it to this far into the video, then kudos to you. I must drive you insane. And next is Doraemon Stories of Season. Out of all the Harvest Spoon Stories of Season franchise, this has got to be like one of my... I don't want to say I hate it, but... It's cute and all, and it's like really my cup of tea, but... It's just... There's just something missing. Maybe it's just like really slow paced and it's really aimed at children. And I feel like at times, I don't, I don't know why. I have very mixed feelings about this. There's no physicals in America. I can probably see why because they probably anticipated a mixed reaction for this game. I had a discussion with um, Amanda on Twitter. Amanda Bunny, I think that's her username. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I don't remember people's username on top of my head. We had a discussion. I think we both agreed that there was just something not quite right with this particular story of the season. I guess if you like really calming funny games, you can just get like Stardew Valley or just other stories of season franchises or maybe even Rune Factory. I did say originally I would recommend people but it is certain amount of enjoyment and then you reach the peak of it and it stops being fun about 10 hours in and then it just becomes a little bit more tedious. Or maybe I don't know what I'm doing but it is fun but it's very short-lived, I think, is the best way I put it. And last but not least, I have the Sega, the Sega 5. Never finished it. I got stuck in one of the levels. Can't beat it. It's been years. I don't know how to finish the game. 
and that's it for the physicals like i said i have octopath traveler and i have some other ones can't remember on top of my head but this is all i can find oh yeah taiko as well but i mentioned that now we're going on to the digital games that i have well i do have a capture card it unfortunately does not work on my pc so we're just so we're just gonna have to refer back to the picture so on top i have Saju valley farm together xenoblade chronicles fire emblem three houses grand quest builders 2 octopath traveler legend of zelda breath of the wild pokemon shield pokemon let's go eevee splatoon 2 war groups freaking love like chuckle fish chocobo mystery dungeon everybody super mario odyssey super mario maker 2 i don't use the youtube app but i have it Pure Pure, Stories of Seasons, um, Doraemon, Taiko no Tatsujin, Nintendo Switch version, Voice, Moonlighter, I still need to finish it, oh my gosh, The Men of Yoshiwara, Ogia, don't buy it, probably one of the worst dating sims games I've ever purchased in my life, don't do it even though it's cheap, Fire Emblem Warriors, just Dance 2017. I borrowed that game off Robo like years ago, but I don't actually own it anymore. And I have the N Nintendo Entertainment. It's moving by very slowly. Nintendo Entertainment System, Nintendo Online, Cattails. I bought that on sale. Rotopia is a free game you get from the eShop. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. It's so freaking hard. I have more edition on the Steam file years later still haven't managed to like progress at all because i suck azura striker um, Four striker pack super nintendo entertainment system again super kirby clash i got a free kirby battle royale if i'm not mistaken i haven't even opened it yet but it's free on the eShop. and last but not least i have count lucana still haven't opened it yet i got it for less than five dollars super 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 cheap the physical costs like $25, but the digital costs like $4, so pick one, choose one. Anyway, that's it for my Nintendo Switch games collection. I, I hope you enjoy watching this like messy, messy collection video. Here is my Switch. I have the Neo Joy-Cons. I do not have any other Joy-Cons. They drift. They're annoying. That's why I got a Pro Controller. It's over there. I also have the same two cases from my previous collection video, which is these two. And I store the games here. A battery of some sort of charger when I go outside. And yeah, that's basically all the Nintendo Switch games I have as of 2019. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below if you have something you asked me or want to say in particular to me. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. And hit the bell for notifications. I am going to have a hard time editing this because it's been 30 minutes and it's going to drive me insane. Because I paused a lot in this video. But anyway, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!